What's up guys, this video is going to be for people that are looking to stream to multiple locations at the same time without paying for a service such as Restream.io. Now the method we're gonna use is through an OBS plugin and basically we're gonna go ahead and go over to this page right here and we need to go ahead and download this plugin to our computer. Now we have a few different options here. This is the latest version 0.2.8 at the time of making this video. What we're gonna do is go ahead and download either a zip folder here an exe which will be for windows and basically a self installer for windows or a pkg which is going to be for mac os and then there's a few other options here if you actually want to look at the source code so for my sake because i'm on windows here i'm just going to go ahead and download this exe and we'll get started all right so that went ahead and downloaded very quickly now we need to go ahead and launch the installer and we need to make sure we're going to install the plugin in the correct location so when the installer actually launches here here, it's going to ask for a destination folder Now we have the option to browse here but we'll, what we're really looking for is we need to put it in the correct folder where our OBS plugins are so if we actually look at this is the default this is where mine was installed basically in my program data folder there's the OBS dash studio folder and that's kind of where OBS hosts a lot of their you know program um, files and things like that there's a folder called plugins in there we're gonna go ahead and install it it right in there. I'm going to go ahead and just click install. All right, and then next we're gonna go ahead and launch OBS. Now I apologize for how the screen is kind of gonna look because I'm actually using OBS to record this, but here's what we need to focus on right over here is when you have this plugin installed and you actually launch OBS, over here on the left, we should have some kind of new little window or control panel, which is actually meaning that the plugin is working and it's gonna be ready to multi-stream. So I actually already had this plugin installed, so I've already set up YouTube and Twitch, but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set these up. My main stream actually goes to TikTok. And if you guys didn't know, you can actually stream to TikTok using a stream key. And if you guys are interested in getting your own stream key for TikTok, you can go ahead and check out that video that is linked right up there in that card. And guys, if you want to be sure and subscribe, because we're going to be talking about a lot of TikTok gaming, a lot of growing your stream, how to bring on new followers, bring on new viewers and a bunch of good stuff like that. So be sure and hit that subscribe button but let's jump back to this we're over here we have this control panel set up now so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our main stream right down here as you normally would you'll go into settings you'll go ahead and set this up right here with stream you'll check your service of which stream you want to go to whether you're going to twitch or youtube or facebook live and then you can also go to custom and set up your own with a server and a stream key that's actually how you'll set up your tiktok stream but what we're going to do do actually right over here is instead of change anything there we're gonna go ahead and set up a secondary a third a fourth a fifth stream even if you want it so to set those up we're gonna go over here to add new target and guys sometimes this is like kind of smashed over here like that so all you can see is kind of this edge here you just want to go ahead and simply drag and pull that over so you can see the entire control panel we're gonna click on add new target here we'll go ahead and give this target a name for example I like to use YouTube um, for my other stream. Like I want to stream on YouTube as well as stream on TikTok at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in YouTube here. And then as RTMP server, you're just basically gonna go ahead and grab that from whatever service you're streaming to, such as YouTube or Twitch or whatever it is. You'll grab that server and put that in here. And then that RTMP key will be your stream key that you get from Twitch or from YouTube or whatever service you want to stream to. You'll go ahead and grab that key and put it in right here. Now, let me talk about some of the settings here because this could be a little bit confusing for you if you've never done this before, but it's actually really pretty easy here. Um, username and password, usually no one needs those. Um, you definitely don't need them for YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, anything that's like very common that you stream to, you're not gonna need a username or password. So don't worry about that. What you do need to worry about here is your encoder settings. So you have the option to get that from OBS or you can set your 
custom encoder right here. And if you do set a custom encoder here, then you're able to set up a custom resolution, a custom bit rate, keyframes, B frames, all of that stuff. If you guys, it's a little bit more advanced. If you guys know how to do that and you want custom settings for each specific service that you're streaming to, then you can do that right here. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and get Git from OBS because that's what we wanna leave it at. And then what we can do for audio settings is the same kind of thing. If you want custom settings specific to that service, then you can go ahead and adjust it right here. But for right now, we'll just do Git from OBS. And let me show you exactly what that is actually doing. So if we go ahead and just click OK, once we filled all this information out, then we can actually go back over to our settings here in OBS. We can go over to output, and these are the settings that it's going to pull from. So you'll wanna set this up previous to starting either a stream on OBS or even a stream through basically your second stream here, you wanna actually set this up and make sure that everything is set up correctly. Now this is very important guys, so listen up to this part. Your computer is not going to be streaming to one location and then restreaming that over to somewhere else. Your computer is simultaneously going to be streaming to multiple locations. That means it's going to require double the bandwidth to stream and if you don't know what bandwidth is basically it just means like the upload speed of how much it's going to require to stream to multiple locations now if you don't know what your upload speed is it's very easy to find out you can just go to the internet type in speed test into google and we can run a quick speed test just like this now it's actually testing my internet download speed what you want to watch is for an upload speed you'll see the arrow going up all right look at the arrow change it's going up this is my upload speed it's pretty Pretty common guys to have a slower upload speed than a download speed. All right, now based on these test results, I have a 21.3 megabits per second upload speed. Now basically that means we have 21.3 megabits overall to upload to the internet. Well, we have to think about everything that is using upload speed while we're streaming. If you're gaming online, you're using upload speed just by using your console online or your computer online, and you're uploading data to the network just by gaming online. So you have to take that into consideration that some of your upload speed will be used by that. If anyone else is on your Wi-Fi on your network using upload speed, then that will also be draining against your 21.3 megabits in my case. Now, after we figure out that, we have to kind of divide up how much, and some of this guys is just testing over and over. We need to know how much we can divert to each service. So for example, if I wanted to stream to TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube, then that's three different services. I have to divvy up some upload speed to send to each service. Now, let me show you exactly how we're actually gonna do that. This is how we're gonna do it. We're back here in OBS. What we're gonna do is go ahead and go to settings, and then we'll go to output, and right here, this video bit rate, that's basically going to be our upload speed. Now, this is in kilobits per second, so for every thousand kilobits is basically one megabit. So basically, how we figure this out is 2,500 kilobits per second is 2.5 megabits per second. So guys, this will vary for each of you, but what I've found is 2.5 megabits per second to three megabits per second, or 2,500 kilobits to 3,000 kilobits per second is pretty good if I wanna stream to about three places at the same time. So this is what I do. I set it up for 2,500 kilobits per second. I set my audio bit rate. I'll just leave that at 160. That's what it defaulted to. And then we'll go ahead and hit apply and hit okay. And then we'll head over here and we'll add a new target. And like we did before guys, we wanna make sure it's set to get from OBS if you want to set this different than before, like we mentioned, you'll go ahead and set the bitrate custom right here. So if you only wanna give YouTube 2,000 and give Twitch 3,000 and then give TikTok 4,000, you can do that, but you'll need to set that up under custom settings right here. For the basic user, like we said, we're just gonna go ahead and get all of the same settings for each different source that we're going to. So TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube will all get the same settings. Now, once we have that set up, guys, the last setting we need 
to look at when we're adding a target is if we want to sync the start with OBS. That means when you actually come down here and hit the start streaming button, do you want it to start streaming to Twitch and YouTube as well, which we've set up right here? Let me remove this one here. We've set up YouTube and Twitch right here. Do we want, when I hit this button right here, start streaming, do we want it to send to TikTok, also send to YouTube and also send to Twitch? Or do we want it to be a delayed start when we choose to actually start? So what we could do if we don't want it to auto start, I mean, I think you guys under, understand auto start, but if we don't want it to auto start, what we would do is to hit start streaming here, and then we're streaming to TikTok and we're fine. We're not using any upload speed for YouTube or Twitch. Everything's chill, right? Where nothing's going on. If we wanna start a YouTube stream at some point, we can just go ahead and click start up here, and this will go ahead and connect to YouTube and start the stream from where Wherever we're at in our stream, it'll just start streaming straight to YouTube. If we want to stop it, this button over here will change to a stop button. And right here, we can go ahead and start to streaming Twitch whenever we want. If we don't want to, we can actually just ignore it the entire rest of the stream and we'll be good. And guys, it's just that easy. It's actually a phenomenal plugin. Very, very awesome. And thank you so much to the creator. I highly recommend this plugin, guys, if you haven't used it yet. It is awesome. And for free, I mean, you literally can't beat that. Now, here's one thing I do want to mention is you have to check on some of these services. Sometimes they have in their terms of service that you're not allowed to stream to multiple locations. And some of the services that you stream to actually hold the rights to your stream for a certain amount of time. And you're probably like, nah, I don't use anything crazy like that. But no, guys, you might be surprised. Twitch actually has in their terms of service. You are not allowed to stream to Twitch as an affiliate of Twitch and stream to other platforms such as YouTube or TikTok, something like that, you definitely need to take a look at their terms of service. It may not be allowed for you, so you definitely don't wanna break that and lose your affiliate status on Twitch or lose even your account, get banned or anything like that. So definitely look into that. But for me, I chose not to be an affiliate on Twitch. I just don't have enough viewers to actually make it worth my time. And I think this is more valuable. So I decided personally for me, I didn't wanna be an affiliate on Twitch yet until I build up a bigger audience. And I'm going to instead use that to be able to stream to Twitch. YouTube and TikTok all at the same time. Anyway, guys, if you liked today's video, be sure and drop a like. I hope you guys enjoyed it and be sure and hit that subscribe button. We got tons of gaming content coming out soon and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. You're awesome, by the way.